Hello, my friend. So good to see you here. Yes, welcome back. Today we talk about how to overcome self-pity. We've seen self-pity is bad for you. Feeling a victim of life, of circumstances, doesn't help us to overcome the challenges, doesn't move us forward. So, now it's time to see how to overcome self-pity. And I tell you, the best thing to do is to be a volunteer of a good cause. Choose a group, a person, a family to help. And you might be thinking, but I don't have money. No, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about your attention your time, your energy. Donate your time to these people who need much more than you. Donate your energy to these guys who are there. Maybe they are old guys who don't have their family anymore. Maybe they're little kids who are waiting for someone. Go there. Dedicate some time to these guys. I'm sure you will feel better much better but if you don't want to do it there are other things to do be gentle you can cut the grass of your neighbor you can help a tourist lost on the street you can donate food to animals doing something good help you bring meaning to your life, to your day. Do something dynamic. A physical activity will help you concentrate in something apart from sorrow. Start a course, read a book, learn a new hobby. When you change your behavior, your attitude changes together. The secret to change your feelings is to find out what behaviors are useful to you. Be free of self-pity. Sometimes you try and make a mistake, but you have to try. Give yourself the chance to help somebody. Give yourself the chance to listen to someone else talking about their problem. You will feel much better. I swear to you. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. There is a mosquito helping me here. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class. How to be positive. You've taken the first step. Being here, looking for knowledge. 